In April, Qualcomm reportedly completed the design phase of its forthcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 application processor, slated for an October release. However, following the unveiling of Apple's upcoming M4 chip, which boasts remarkable single-core benchmark scores, rumors suggest that Qualcomm intends to overhaul the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset by June, aiming to increase its targeted clock speed from 4 GHz to 4.26 GHz. Per ex-subscriber at Jason will 101, Qualcomm's move to challenge Apple's top-tier M-series and A-series processors appears logical, given that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be produced by prominent foundry TSMC, utilizing its second-generation 3M process node. This same node is slated for use by TSMC in manufacturing Apple's M4 chip, along with its A18 and A18 Pro chipsets, destined to power the standard and Pro editions of the iPhone 16 series respectively. Nevertheless, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 AP's design will stem from the Snapdragon X Elite laptop processor, which doesn't integrate the ARM V9 instruction set. Consequently, Qualcomm's upcoming flagship smartphone chip will lack the scalable matrix extension, a feature that enables chips like Apple's M4 to manage intricate tasks more effectively. This discrepancy in capabilities is among the reasons why the M4 achieved outstanding Geekbench 6 single-core and multi-core scores of 3,767 and 14,677, respectively. Qualcomm may be cognizant that the absence of scalable matrix extension in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could potentially lead to reduced performance. Hence, they are reportedly increasing the chip's clock speed to a targeted 4.26 GHz in an attempt to offset this anticipated performance decline. Additionally, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will depart from ARM's Cortex CPU cores, opting instead for Qualcomm's custom Phoenix cores. Even though the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 SoC primarily competes with Apple's A18 and A18 Pro rather than the M4, it's anticipated that Apple's latest A-series smartphone chipsets also manufactured using TSMC's 2nd Gen and 3E3M node will offer exceptional performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 configuration notably comprises two big Phoenix CPU cores and six medium Phoenix CPU cores, with a notable absence of any small, low-powered Phoenix CPU cores. The construction of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 AP not only positions it as a potential top performer in smartphones but also raises concerns about potential battery consumption. Additionally, phone manufacturers utilizing the chip will need to implement measures for effective heat dissipation. This could involve incorporating larger vapor chambers to efficiently draw heat away from the processor, ensuring optimal device performance and longevity. We'll undoubtedly gain more insights this October when the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is unveiled at the Snapdragon Summit. Anticipated to be featured in U.S. variants of the Samsung Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus, the AP is also expected to drive the Galaxy S25 Ultra across all markets. According to a tweet by the leaker Sawyer Galax, who's known for tech scoops, the new Galaxy S25 Ultra might have more RAM than before. If you get the right model, you could see it jump from 12 gigs to 16 gigs, which is pretty neat. The previous Galaxy S24 Ultra always had 12 gigs of RAM no matter what. But in the tweet, Sawyer Galox says that the basic version of the Galaxy S25 Ultra will still have 12 gigs of RAM, just like before, along with 256 gigs of storage. If you choose to pay extra for the model with either 512 gigs or 1 TB of storage, you'll also get more RAM, bumped up to 16 gigs. Oh, and talking about changes, the screen size on the Galaxy S25 Ultra will go up a bit from 6.8 inches to 6.9 inches. Also, here we have another news, Apple is copying a Galaxy AI feature for iOS 18. Samsung's One UI 6.1 update includes a new feature called Transcript Assist in its voice recorder app, powered by Galaxy AI. This feature can transcribe voice recordings and even provide AI-generated summaries to help users understand the content better. It's undoubtedly a handy tool for everyday use. Interestingly, Apple seems to be impressed by this feature and is reportedly working on implementing a similar transcript assist feature for iPhones in the upcoming iOS 18 update. According to a new report from Apple Insider, the voice memos and notes applications in iOS 18 will offer the ability to transcribe voice recordings. The two apps will also be able to provide AI-generated summaries for those transcriptions. Introducing the standard Galaxy S25 equipped with a 6.2-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole front camera. 
Turning to the back, the phone features a 50 megapixel primary camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, or maybe it will run on the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S24 houses a 4,000 mAh battery supporting 25 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's Advanced M13 OLED panel, safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and reinforced with Aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing US 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz of dynamic AMOLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440, it incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch-hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup, including a 200-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50-megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S24 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging USS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting swift 45 watt fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi Fi 7. Operating on One UI 7.1 based on Android 15, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,299. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 series specifications, please tell us. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.